Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Kishan with the next episode of Grim Course Challenge. This is uh, the overview from from the map. This is our green territories. We have this uh, segment down here, Blightwater. That's sort of independent. That's kind of interesting. And then our core up here. We just fought a battle against Isabella von Casta in the last episode. Here and we beat her. This is the remnants of her army. Something cool happened at the very end of last episode. That is a uh, Snash Strike Foe Spike here. Gained... Where is it? Uh, traits gained. Here, for defeating Isabella von Karstein, passive ability regeneration. So we now have a... And that's not even an item. That's super good. This is... Uh, just a, a skill that he now has regeneration and it, do, it does come with uh, the uh, fire weakness modifier so that's interesting and I think very cool very very cool uh, so he's becoming pretty good oh and magic resistance is very good when fighting vampires so let's keep that on he can get the ruby ring of ruin why not we don't have any spell casters in this region so a fireballer would be nice and that's my stuff given out again. I think we got a new talisman or something. No, we don't have any spares of anything to give to people. Okay. So in the north here, he also got a skill point. He's got um, some very nice buffs. We maybe want to go for stand your ground. Artillery or cavalry? What does he run? None of any of those. Interesting. Uh, but he could maybe gain some regiments of renown. Not that that would. I don't think they get buffed by the things. Ah, uh, they would get from cavalry. He's got fleet foot and cell. That's good. Medians, builder. Oh, I wonder if I've been uh, neglecting the vibrance of some people. Do we have any at rank 15? Uh, we should really try to get Stand Your Ground, I think. Or Savages. Because that would actually really mean a lot. Ah, but we can't get Stand Your Ground in this upgrade, and I think it's just too good to not get. So. Yeah, this hard lads will be a thing later on, and then stand your ground. No, I don't like it. Let's go with mm, artillery. We need an artillery expert anyway. Stand your ground. You can't reach him. That's too bad, but you can go and deposit some troops with him. Give him some goblins. Take his orcs. Ah. Uh, He would get a fight in this penalty. So let's not. And whew, what else? Maybe we have too many boys here. Give him one of the weaker boys. They were wearing two or higher, that's really nice. They've been fighting for a while in these mountains. What do we want up here? What do we have here? I mm. will not. That's concerning. Yeah, we might <laughs> lose to that one car sign if I'm not careful, so wait a minute. Uh, the Crimson Killers, they are really good. Ah, Broken Tusk Mob. Well, I just got the artillery buff. I should have gotten the cavalry buff, maybe. Kind of want those. We have 15,000 right now, so I will reinforce our troops up here a little bit. I think we just move our guys as far as they can here. Can't go into any special stances or anything now. We can recruit here. Game it done. 
some spear boys maybe since we are dealing with some larger enemies soon no. yeah more spear boys and then one unit of archers and a unit of goblins okay now the war army I want them to go north again just stay near this army that's uh war I guess they will move up again and try to they won't reach Isabella so they'll end up around our troops that's good down let's go trap down so here we are in the silver road we want to move up and reinforce Grimgore's crack here Grimgore's auto crack there you go if we attack now from here even with the reinforcements, it doesn't really like my odds. Interesting. But we can wait out for them to attack the walls. I can keep recruiting here. And we should. Um, we need great weapons. And we need... They don't have a lot of archers, do they? We need spear boys. And then another unit of archers, then that's coming together as a nice little army. My influence is weak. Heinrich Kimmler is coming down. He's only level 2. He's got some nice units here. Mounted skeletons doesn't sound too scary. Then a good amount of crypt ghouls, but nothing other special Not units. Special. Hmm. What do we have here? They can't deal with that. The tribe's ready. Sajar Rajur is recruiting biggins for us here. What do we make of this situation in the south? Oh, um, how are we doing on Grimgore? Is he back? One more turn to Grimgore. Beacon. Can we reach oh, over here? can. So we could try to overwhelm this one army of Durak Skolson. I think I like that. Let's see if we can kill some dwarves. Okay, he ran away. Can we get far enough then? Let's get moving. If I do this and then just Let's cancel go. it. Nasty magic ready. Not really. I'll get there. Move away a little bit. Come on. I think that's enough. This yes, very good. Yeah, we're not gonna play this one though. Ah, it's only level one lord. We have eleven and He's 14. Okay, so one more level and he gets a uh, wyvern for Thark Big Tool. That should maybe be now. That would be very cool. Uh, we probably want to replenish here. Oh, we can get more. Oh, we need to get the fightiness up a little bit. Yeah. So, replenish. He's at full strength almost. We eliminated that army. Now, uh, Drinkarakas here looks kind of open. Sword of Bloodshed. Cool. Ah, he didn't level up. But, Uska did. He should probably be on his wolf. And... He's a full-blown mage now. Sneaky Stabbing could get upgraded. Oh, well, we're going down here, I think. Let's go with looting settlements a little bit. Uh, or hmm, underway invasion chance. No. Looter. Now they'll see. Yeah, he can make it to drink a racket next turn, I think. No. Oh, I just realized this might be bad. If we, 
and camp here it cost us self money a lot of money so we should not do it like that if I he can recruit yeah without being in raiding camp that's good he replenishes less but he doesn't raid our own territory all the while I was thinking whether or not we can get over here Yes, we could. That would kind of lose our defense on Iron Rock a little bit. And that allow, and allow these two armies to converge on Iron Rock. Yeah, that's not good. But losing Barak Var. These guys, they are going to take it if they attack. So reinforcing with them would be cool, but then we just get another vampire army up to attack us, I think. Could, of course, spam some regiments of renown. We can have the Arachnorok Queen coming in. That's interesting. Could we overwhelm Kemler here? I would rather save this. Hmm. I really would rather save... Barabar. So yeah, I'm tempted to go Arachnorok Queen against Dwarves and Vampires. The Squicks are pretty good actually. Um, let's get the Rusty Arras. How much can I go here? We have 4,000. I can keep going. Since we're doing a lot of open field battle battles, so the Death Creepers are pretty good. And some of the more groups main gym of Routers. Marauders. They are, in fact, because they are very fast as well. They can outrun the flying, flying units of the vampires, too. Uh, do we have the ones that are unbreakable? The goblins? No, but these are decent. Just for having some... And they are armor sundering. That's pretty strong. I kind of like it. Now we're at 6,000. But now... This way. Go here. And then we can win this battle. And I'm gonna fight it, because we can throw away the garrison army and then keep this army intact. And keep them roaming. Next turn, Grimgore can spawn into this army if he wants. So that might be a thing I'm doing. We do have two catapults of Grud Crows, that's interesting. And we have to keep Giblet Blood Reaper alive if we can. Uh, this guy. I mean, all the, everything here is expendable, actually. So it's gonna be good. All right, we'll not gamble that. Start deployment. So yeah, we do have the split deployment, which is kind of concerning. There's not a lot I can do in the setup phaser here, I suppose. Uh, we could hide him in the forest here. Why not? There he's hidden. And I guess the main thing is that they have the artillery. So we will need to key or get moving as soon as possible. Uh, I can't tell which one of them is which, but I assume this is the garrison army. So we want them to run in uh, while this army is set up and prepared for a more organized attack. And it was the other way around. Interesting. That's good. That's very good. Let's run him. Okay, let's set up this attack here. One group. Uh, this is a group for itself. There you go. All the melee infantry in front. 
run. Maybe run two. Uh, maybe just walk, actually, because we need to get the other army formed up. firing on this army. Spread out. They're attacking that army. That's interesting. Okay, so just rush this down here, I suppose. That was kind of a weird way to do that. a mess. I'm not doing this very well, I think, right now. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, grab these guys and get in front. I hit nothing with that. Oh, no, no, no. That was a bad start. The squeaks out here. They just keep firing on that Mandy Marauder, even though I try to dodge it. Okay, the one unit coming in here won't be a problem. Uh, we need to shut down artillery as soon as possible. So let's go for that now. And I'm not really doing good at getting around these guys here. Yeah, we will be bombarded, but I can't really do anything about it. This guy, the spider is kiting half of the army away from the battle while firing at them. Now the melee infantry down here should start rushing this pile. Well, he can sacrifice himself, that guy. Okay. <laughs> this is a mess, but it's going okay, I think. Uh, do we still have artillery firing? Not from them, no. fired upon up here from the entire battle. These uh, quarrelers turned out to be the real issue. Now we are finally engaging with them here. On the snowy plains. She can spawn units, I forgot. We're 
breaking them almost everywhere. Now we just need to break the Lord, and we did. And we won. Alright. We won't run them down, of course, so they do get to go away. Alright, that is the end of Rony Grimgrau. No, he, I guess he lives, so. Yeah, we took minimal losses. We actually took more losses on the, the good army rather than the garrison army. That's that's what happens. Um, let's go for leadership for four turns. We could use that on this army. Maybe ransom cap. No, let's do the, the slaughter captives. Oh, another good armor. And he gained a Dawnstone, that's good. Let's give him the... Got that too. Okay, he can get the Sword of Bloodshed, why not? And a Backstabber. Okay. So he's coming out nicely. Give the Blood Reaper, Root Marsher, and... Sneak Stab him. Whoops. Uh, so is that everything? The tribe's ready. Sacha Rathur. He's waiting here. Knarsak Makraka. I was tempted to disband him. We have this dude here. We can move him into this army. I want that to work out. Sure. Oh. I wanna, sorry, follow gained. He gained an, something for just moving into the, in the into the army. That's nice. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. I think we've done most of the things. He's not doing anything right. You still need something. Giblet Broad Reaper. I was tempted to disband him as well. Don't really need him right now. We do need someone to recruit in Varagvar, I suppose. He was doing it before, he can start doing it again. Let's get two spear boys and one arrow boy and a goblin unit. Yeah, I like that. Now Radhur, or Radhur, or whatever. Down here. These guys don't count as uh, big guns, so Anything you say. let's get two normal big guns and one iron claw. They are pretty good. They are more expensive than the big gun. Why is that in upkeep? Interesting. Wait a minute. They're more expensive than the Bloody Suns boys. How come they have? More armor. They do? Okay. Less leadership. More speed. Less melee attack. Less melee defense. And more charge bonus. So, okay. Bloody Suns boys. Those are the ones we recruited here. They are anti-infantry. Let's have a look at that for a minute. Okay, they have 17 armor piercing and 5 bonus versus infantry, and these guys have bonus versus large, 20, 16 is pretty substantial, okay, 20, 28, and okay, so they are a lot better against armored big stuff, that's interesting, very interesting, interesting, uh, let's see here, He's a goblin, he should get goblins. And maybe we go for a rock lover, because why not? We don't have a lot of them going on. And yeah, I guess I like having an orc ironclaw orc. That sounds pretty good. And they have a lot of armor piercing, and anti large will be good against this army too. Okay. The tribe's ready. Then Garsnack Muckraka. Could disband him. Can't recruit anymore in any of these regions anyway, and Barak Davis Park is some, not something we need to defend. I can spawn a new lord here next turn. 
We are disbanding him. Let's see how much the income goes up. Not a lot. Okay. Settlement upgrade available. I would like to upgrade in Carrick as Gal. I'm assuming that we will hold that settlement for a while. That's my goal anyway, to have a bastion in the south. If I can ga gather the, the outlying provinces as well, then that's good. But it's not a... But it's, de it's decent enough to just have the, the capital city there. Same up here. We think the same thing we're doing is just having Mount Goodbad is good enough. As long as, And if we can get Grand Prix, then good. As long as we hold this, then that's good. Makes them... so we don't get any nasty surprises from the south. Here is a little bit more iffy because it's far away. They can hit us, but it's gonna be in Black Crack for the most part, and that's where I'm mostly fortified. Okay, that was a short analysis of our territories as they are. Death Gorge is uh, also well defended. If, if he moves down there, then that's fine. He can have that. Then I take more settlements up here. Uh, he is within range there. Kratomen. Could build a pile of shiny stuff. I think we should. I'm not gonna upgrade it. But we could go for the shiny pit. If he comes up here now. With that army, that's fine. I can move over with big tool and reinforce. That should be good enough. We have another queen here. And now we're not making... We have 15,000 at the start of this turn. But I'm making a lot of new units. And we're starting a lot of fights next turn. It's going to be good. And Angrund is uh, pretty well enforced, reinforced here actually. They took Matorga from Bloody Hands. Bloody Hands are up in the mountains. Karak Isor here. Interesting Grimhold is owned by the Wood Elves. <sighs> He's gonna be wrecked next turn. Oh, they're trying to. Oh, really? Oh, they won. Interesting. This... oh. Well, he can run away. Now attack the... Rebels, that would be nice. Now if the Rebels attack and take uh, Karasaka Rack now, I would be very sad. They could do that now. Here comes Vlad. Oh, are we gonna have a big fight here? R. Interesting. I wish Grimgore was here. But we have the war army as well. Holy guacamole, this is a big fight. This will be crazy. Uh, Snastrike Foe Spike must survive. This Morbids is pretty good as well. Then we have two more lords. He has a level 1 and a level 1. Then of course himself here and we can't tell what level she's at but killing her would be a big boon for us. Oh, they have blood knights. Jesus. Uh, the war army is pretty good actually for this. They have a lot of spears, they have the night hovers and they have a lot of forest goblins spider riders. That's pretty good against all the flying. And one piece of artillery is a nice addition. We have one piece of artillery. I am wondering about... Oh, okay, let's see if we can set up any banners. I don't think we have any. No. Uh, can I determine the order that the reinforcements come in? I don't think I can. So we'll just have to go with it. And of course I'm fighting this. That's interesting. Is he in Forced March? He is! Oh boy, that's really good for us. Yes, we are taking this. Alright. Let's see, this is gonna be 
Interesting, yeah. Oh, and we start with the war army. We control the war army. Oh, that is so nice. That is so good. We start with it on the field. We can hammer them as they come in. Reinforce. We really should try to do that. All of this uh, skirmish cap here is ours to play with. And I can throw it away. I don't have any scruples about that. Savage Orc Archers. Let's unite them with our own Archers. Make it a big mix here. That's good enough, I suppose. Clumbed up a bit so they can fight against uh, Flyers better. Then we'll reinforce them with a nice line of Spearmen. I think I like that. Spear Orcs. Just like they should have. Then we are mixing in these guys to the melee ranks here, and we have more. Let's go like that and that. This is a lot of units to you to handle. Let's get a snatch strike foe spike in the center here. This guy a bit more up front. Uh, he go here. Well, he has regeneration, so maybe I should do it the other way around. They can fight together, maybe. That that seems to, to me like a good idea. I'll hold these guys a bit in reserve. Now, what do we have left? Yeah, all the melee troops go here. Then this unit, I'm tempted to just route that off the field right away. Actually, it's 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 expendable, so we might as well just throw it at the enemy and let them die. <laughs> Crazy as that sounds, because they won't affect leadership when they die, unless they themselves are expendable. More gobos in front of the archers. Archers here. And we will have more units coming in as the fight goes along. Uh, but we will skirmish with our uh, calf first. We need to move up the artillery so we can hit them. So we'll be moving forward a little bit at the very start. Same goes for the entire formation here. I want to be pushing it up to like here, maybe. In front of the artillery is better, or just behind it, at least. And then these guys don't follow, also don't follow. This group here, don't follow, don't retreat. Need everyone to stand their ground. So let me mark this and prepare to move forward. We can mark the entire thing actually. And move up a bit. Oh, and we have an army right there. So we don't need to move the artillery. Fire will. We are hitting them already here. With our skirmishes. Away. You have no idea how I'm gonna manage all this. It's gonna be insane. Oh my god. Alright, let's just try to stay focused here. What do we have? What do we have? These guys are the two war bosses, of course, and then some reinforcements. They can run up. They should run. One of them is uh, Smorbits. Spam some abilities here. We 
You're being hit by all the flyers right away. Part of the line. The archers and the spear infantry will take care of all of that. Yes, that's the plan. Uh, the artillery. They got scared off, okay. Well, I was gonna lure them in with that, but that kind of took care of itself. Uh-oh, counter charge! There's a board. I think we are dealing with all the flyers. It's kind of a mess. Maybe pull back the archers now. For they can. Yeah, we completely took care of those mounted skeletons. That's nice to see. Uh, Lord out here worries me a bit. Uh, this unit here, try to move back a bit. Our archers are shooting into this mess, that's good. This is Snash Track. Okay, now, right about now, we want to do the grooving here and just charge into this mess with all the infantry. We should have gotten you in there. Fight, fight, fight. This is the Blood Knights, that's not good. Uh, this is okay, I think. As soon as he can reach people with these abilities, then... I wanna start activating them, come on! There we go, and Helm of Discord. Also that one, why not? Their cavalry out here is ready to do some flanking, I think. There's also a lot of archers for us to shoot at. What else do we have here? Get all the archers, that's good. Him out of it, he's being bullied. Who's not fighting? They are firing. Let's see if we can do some hammer and anvil somewhere. Oh, let's try to hit the archers instead. Uh, anyone here who isn't fighting? Uh, Force here. These guys go in here. Let's grab everyone and try to hit something. You get back into the pile. Everyone in. No time for slacking off now. Flat one castine over there. Charge the zombies in the back here with our cavalry. Didn't some of them have a fireball or something? All the buffs in that area, that's good. Uh, maybe you pull out a bit. We don't want to lose the leadership. 
Pile into that. Cleaning up the archers. Attack. We will have all the vampire lords and special units be holding out in the, in the fight here. I think that's that's the main thing. We just have to outlast them. Then the discord will help. We killed someone here, enemy lord. I think there's just too many green skins. The humans are fleeing. I saw Vlad von Karstein over here. Yeah, he's holding out. Got some. Uh, oh, uh, this is coming one on one, one on one. <laughs> he kicked the head off of that guy. Next guy. Yeah, he killed that guy. Next, next guy. <laughs> Orc. He stabs him from a meter away. He got hidden by an arrow there. Uh, he's crumbling. No, he's not. He's at full health. Run him down so he knocks him over. This one orc is being really brave against him. Is he the only one on the field now? I think he is. No, we don't need anyone to fire now. What we do need is the two orc lords to come in here. And the one with the buffs as well. And start knocking him around. He's not gonna give up anytime soon. This one orc is still uh, hitting him. He's got a great axe, so that's good. This one goblin is bigger than him. That's interesting. Let's do all the buffs. <laughs> oh, he's being bullied by a bunch of uh, goblin heroes or greenskin heroes. He's knocking them around though. Do we have any units? I guess they are good against him. Uh, these guys are pretty good against him. They're far away. We do have uh, an Orc Boy Great Weapon unit somewhere in the field. We can send them in. Bring him down! Oh wait, uh, what's this unit? Oh, those are the uh, Moon Howlers. Just move them out. Here comes the... What, what are they called? Broken Tusk Mob. And he goes down. Oof. Alright. So yeah, we did pretty well in this one. We killed almost more than twice as many as we lost. That's good. Uh, the artillery here survived. The, uh, the war army is pretty uh, okay, actually, and if they replenish a little, they can come up to the same level again, I think. And their armies are completely destroyed. There's not really anything left. No, 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 nothing. Uh, do we want replenishment? No. It's all captives, or. No, I think we'll take. Uh, yeah, we'll take the slaughter captives, the leadership. We are holding back in the mountains now, and soon we will be pushing a bit in the north here, I think. We'll try to take care of these armies at least. Wood elves are moving around. For now, we're not at war with them. Oh, they lost Carrick and Gassar here. Interesting. So, Clan Angren is on its last legs. This is uh, their finally, final arm. Oh, they took Matorga. Haha. <laughs> right, so they, they're still ho holding in there. What's this? They got some uh, vampire hunter for beating Frag von Karstein? No. 
multiple victories over and defeating that von Karstein. Wound recovery time minus four. So if but oh he could get wounded by uh, heroes. Here is uh, Clan Morris finally. Creek head tagger is right here. Cassador Dragon Slayer is indeed going south. That's good. We'll take care of his uh, home, uh, home territories while he's gone. And what's this? Underway interception. Yeah, I think I will take that. Uh, I'll probably auto resolve this one. I think we would win. It's a level one. And they can't get away. Good. And I want to replenish on that, yes. For sure. So we took care of another army there. I still think we're holding up. Now we're Grigor is coming back this turn. We'll start uh feeling better again, but we had a, had a bit of um, a setback by having him killed. But we haven't really expanded our territories for a while. I'm trying to keep hold of what we've got. Well, oh, the rebel turn will be interesting. We might lose Karasakarak now. I'll fight the fight for sure, and we can see. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, so they are attacking. Let's fight it. Okay, so this is a special map now. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the last time we fought in Karazakarak, but now... Look at this. That's uh, one of the mods finally kicked in. Very cool. Very cool. Ooh. So now it doesn't bear any markings of being uh, taken over by orcs, but that doesn't really matter. We do still have walls and we're functioning towers, I see. That's pretty cool. Two of those. Uh, they are here with uh, some towers. And it seems like there are other ways. No, you can't go all the way out there. I could deploy back, or out here, could I not? I could deploy out here. Would I want that? Probably not. They have a lot of calf, so I really need to use the wall to my advantage here. But we can counter charge in here. With these later on. Well, that's cool, there's an open space here. Uh, where's the capture point? That's just here. Okay. And I guess there's nothing else than other than the big gate here. Interesting. So we have we have archers on the walls, of course, and we can have archers behind the walls shooting over as well. So archers and archers there, and then archers here and archers here. Okay, we need to fight them on the walls, make sure they don't get inside if we can. Armor piercing. Bigger and harder. Big guns are easier to prove against enemies of all sizes. Bonus versus large, 10. They don't get that. Wait, what? Broken tooth armored boys. Don't have anti large. So, normal big guns do. We will use them as a sort of pseudo spear unit for when the cavalry does come inside. Um, we can technically hide some goblins outside here. And they would be hidden because they have stalk. They don't have stalk. Okay. Never mind them. They don't either. Okay. Let's just have them behind the walls here. I will put one of these on either side to move up and fight. These guys are the general's unit. And then two over here to fill in on that wall. And we have more cavalry. We could 
try to counter charge a bit and fight outside the wall while on the fire of the uh, archers. That might be better. That, that could be pretty good actually. I want to at least deploy some uh, cavalry out here. We can just run in if it looks bad. But it'll force them to approach in a different way or and if they do, they will take uh, more fire onto the cav and stuff, I hope. So let's see how they react. I'll pull back a little bit. Maybe do layered instead. So they can funnel through the gate easier. Alright, I'll try this. see black orcs they are anti-infantry these guys several beacons oh they have artillery really I should have deployed on the side then damn uh, we might just have to move inside at least one of them for now I never set those up, did I? Let's just try to mess up their formation with this unit. By running them sideways. Oh, let's charge the archers here. We can probably get away from that. Meanwhile, we're drawing all that ire. Ah. Well, I'm not sure that was worth it. At least we are killing a lot of orcs in the middle here. But soon they'll reach the walls. And we will be in pro trouble. Big trouble. And we counter charge with these orcs here onto the walls and pull down the archers. Okay, go and go. Let's start the fighting. Get on the walls and fight! Oh no, they're surrounding the archers here! That wasn't supposed to happen! Get up there! Try that. Yeah, it's shooting in from the side seems to be working a bit better. Move up here. Oh, they didn't move up at all, these guys. That's not good. The towers have been taken over. We really lost all the advantages that we had. It's kind of messy. Now we have the walls, and that's the only thing. At least the AI doesn't know to break down the gate with the, the cavalry. I'm actually fairly certain that we will lose this. That's kind of sad. Why are they not moving onto the walls? Come on! Please, get up there. Same with you, get up there. Damn it. The archers won't be doing a lot to them. In fact, I should maybe consider not firing all these missiles. At least spare some of them. 
move back a bit and wait for them to come inside. Fight them a little bit here. I don't want you to fire either. If we're shooting our own units right now, that's the main issue. They have goblin archers in here as well, that's not really helpful to them. Oh, put the artillery there, damn. Go back here. If you could fire on them there. That's good. Um... Yeah, we're not really holding anywhere. We are killing a lot of black orcs. The ones moving down here should be taken out. And how about the Lord? Ah, uh, he's holding out. Standing here, they should fight, please. In case you were wondering, I want you to fight. Um, bum 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 bum. We're doing okay. As good as can be expected. As well as can be expected, I suppose. Um, let's try shooting there now. They are thinning out the goblins anyway. We might as well fire into this. Maybe aim for the. Goblin archers up there. Shoot at them. Yeah, we are hitting their troops a lot. Got a black orc unit wavering here. It's good. Okay, we need to be firing onto those walls. I think we can pull through this. Oh, we've almost killed their uh, lord here. That's good. Uh, I don't want to focus them right now. Just fight them as they come down. Yeah, hit the lord for sure. If we can kill him, we might break them. All of their cavalry just standing outside. Shooting them on the walls there. Now as they come down here, we can charge them in the back. Black orcs. 
That'll have a nice effect. Oh, they opened the gate. Did they? No. Oh, it closed again. Good. The Lord is fleeing. They're fleeing everywhere. Somehow we're still holding on the walls. That's pretty impressive. Ha! Huh. Uh, whoever is focusing on that guy, stop. That's kind of a waste of ammunition. Who's firing? Pull back. These guys over here. Stop firing. Get the other guys over here charging. And I think we've won. Kind of looks like that'll be the thing. In the case, somehow, with uh, three broken tooth armored boys fighting here, let's shoot up there. If we can kill that lord. coming back with some orcs, but they will be fired upon as they come onto the walls. Oof. I was close. I didn't want to lose uh, Grim Ghost out of crack, so I'm very happy that we are pushing them out here. It could have been very, very bad for our faction. Kill the Lord. Run these guys down. Make sure they don't turn around and start fighting while they're in here. They're fleeing into the R city. The Doom Diver crew. Routed instantly. I guess they spend all their ammunition. Now all we really need to do is to recapture the tower. We did do that here apparently. Is it firing? It's not firing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. So we need to capture this one over here. down as well. Very good. Oh, I completely forgot we could have stood up here with some archers and fired down on them. Damn. That would have been a huge advantage. Ha! Huh. So I didn't even use the terrain to my full advantage here. That's kind of a silly mistake. Oh yeah, that's a huge thing. Damn. Well, we pulled through anyway. That's good. Camera is being a little bit wonky here. Now, what do we have left? We need to beat them away. I could wait for 46 minutes, but uh, really? Well, the towers are gonna prod at them. What I'll do is I'll send out a. Uh, well, let's get uh, a good strength archer unit up here. And then let's move a an orc beacon unit that is uh, at decent strength out here. See if they charge. Oh, we could do them some calf v calf. Oh, here they come. Uh, 
maybe that was a mistake. Kinda got overrun there. Try to fire on them, they did. Oh, they can. Yeah, we lost that unit pretty handedly. Oh, they have a lot up here still. Damn. Warboy Pickens. War boys. Hmm. Well, I can't really. I don't want to throw away the victory. The fact that the AI is too stupid to break down the gate is not really my problem, I guess. I do a lot for the AI already. To make it fair. Kill these guys. 40 minutes is a long time to wait, though, even with the. Uh, Enhanced time. Come on, shoot, shoot, shoot. And I guess they'll run away and they'll live anyway, so we might as well try to at least expend the ammunition. Uh, we can <laughs> we can send out some bait. Eight forest goblins. At least the towers are doing some continual work here. Here comes eight goblins. Let's see them get charged. Instantly. <laughs> uh, fire on them. Brace for impact. You they fought so bravely and then now they're just being used for bait. Kinda cruel. Ah, uh, they're dead. Oh, that's they're still alive in here. Well, we're getting some free shots on them. The gate opened. I guess because they started fleeing and then the gate opens to let them in. But it's not allowing uh, enemies in though. We expended the ammunition here, so let's <laughs> exchange units. Get the next unit prepared to fire. Are they gonna stand here? Seems that way. You can just attack the gate if you wanted in. I'd, I'd, I would probably still win if they came in. Because they only have the cap left. But. What can I do? I don't think I can open the gate for them. And I don't particularly want to. Shoot at them as they run away. So why not? Now shoot these guys. Or four chariots. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Go out and get them. They're good at that, and I don't think they have a lot of other stuff to counter us left. So let's just clean up with the four riders now. Oh, they do have some boar riders. Wait a minute. Uh, you shoot them. Oh, they have... No, this that's mine. Okay, counter charge. Now you go assist, and so do you. Want to trade as good as we can here. As well as we can. Counter charge. 
and the Bull Boys was the most dangerous of them, but they have been routed. Come on. We should be getting there now. And they're running away, and done. Okay, that took a little bit longer than it should have, but it's okay. Okay, very nice. So the uh, the garrison managed to, to do it entirely on their own. That's nice. We'll get the money. They don't need fighting this for anything here. Another rebellion in Bargwar right away. Interesting. And this is what? Is that the flame cannon? Settlement besieged. Yeah, sure. Oh, Snestrak has dropped another war, so now we have five armies up here. Uska dropped a war in the south. Grimgor is ready for uh, for duty. Negative growth. No! Oh, that's only in Death Gorge. Okay, never mind. Kill some enemies. A lot of enemies. Vampire Hunter. That's very nice. Um, leadership is especially important against them. They are a terror faction. Raiding here. Raiding up there. Okay. Let me check that real quick. This is a flame cannon. Okay, it's just a normal flame cannon. I don't remember that picture, but maybe I'm just not that used to having flame cannons. Uh, this is right about where we are ha gonna have to end the episode. I think we better do it now before too much stuff starts happening. We can do the start of the micromanagement for the next episode. Uh, keep the Broad Reaper here has leveled up. Oh, that's something that I wanted to do and I've completely forgotten time and time again, so I'll do it now. Which is... Uh, I guess I can't now. I was gonna run him up here to Akendorf just to activate the quest. Uh, he doesn't have siege attacker, so he can't just walk in. But we are kind of in danger of him taking Grimgor's other crack. Uh, now that they are weakened and he's right outside. Another army coming down here. That's Manfred von Karstein! So we'll need to put uh, Grimgor somewhere here. He will probably go in, in this army. There's some big guns at least. That's his specialty. And maybe we can hit Doc Karas this turn. He's sitting here recuperating. Oh, but we have the... Okay, a lot of consideration for next episode. It's not getting boring yet. A lot of stuff going on up here, down here, everywhere. Alright, uh, I will end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.